Well, what do we have here? Looks like a standard toilet, right? Well, hey, first off, bathkeep.com asked me to do a little review of this toilet for you. So here goes. Now the thing that I like about this toilet is a little bit different than standard residential toilets. The reason why is because this is a handicap style toilet, meaning it's a little bit higher to the seat. Now this one here, the measure, it looks like 17 inches, maybe 17 and a quarter inches. You measure yours at home and you'll probably find that it's a little bit lower than that. It might be between 15 and 16 inches. Well, because this one's a little bit higher, it's gonna help you get onto the toilet a little bit better, get off of the toilet. If you have, if you have a loved one who's older, who's a little bit handicapped, a little bit slower, maybe you should take out your existing toilet and replace it with a handicap style toilet. This handicap style is an elongated base, which, which is a must. If you got just the round bowl, think about getting an elongated front. And you may wonder, hey, does this mount any different than a regular standard toilet? Well, where the bolts are, where the toilet bolt attachments are to the Herco flange, which is attached for the, for the main toilet assembly at the bottom, the dimension right here is generally about the same as a standard toilet, so you shouldn't have to worry about anything. The toilet tank is, should still fit right up against the wall without hitting the wall. Now, the one thing you may have to worry about, look on your existing toilet, where the toilet fill um, pipe is right here, is gonna be up a little bit higher because this toilet's a little bit higher than a standard toilet. So hopefully, your, your flexible pipe right here is, is long enough to attach. Worst case scenario, you may have to get a new little hose right there if yours is short. Okay, the other thing I like about this, and by the way, what kind of toilet is this? Yeah, you may, may be wondering what it is. It's a Kohler, a Kohler toilet. You can't really see that. I don't have the box here. Somebody else installed this toilet. I did not install the toilet or else I would have showed you a little bit more on this video. It's a Kohler and it's 1.6 gallons. So every time you flush the toilet, 1.6 gallons. Now, you may think, well, man, why is it only 1.6 gallons? This looks like a, like, like a tank that holds more than 1.6 gallons. It still looks kind of big, the tank. It's like, what's going on with that? Well, the thing I like about this toilet too is, let's get you in here a little bit closer. See this round deal in the middle? This right here, this lifts up when I flush the toilet and see where the water is. Let, I'm gonna flush this toilet. Let's take a look at how far the, the water actually goes down. Right to there, see? That's all the water from there to there. Every flush, that's 1.6 gallons. Did you see that? This black thing lifted up and it only allowed enough water to suck in to the outlet. And that kind of creates the actual pressure, the flush down there to make 1.6 gallons possible. That's pretty slick because lots of, lots of toilets don't have this round ring around there. That's the added beauty of this Kohler toilet that you get. Now, did you see how, how high up that raised? This thing only came up enough and the water didn't actually flow down through here. It ran underneath. Let's do it again. Just enough water to as a suction, it goes down there. It almost doesn't seem like it's flushing enough, does it? But that's how they're designed. Hey, last but not least, you're probably wanting to know what model number this is, aren't you? <laughs> it's a Kohler 1.28 gallon Highline model number K11499-0. Now, I don't want to confuse you. I told you before, it said 1.6 gallons on the actual bowl, okay? But they list this as a Kohler 1.28 gallon because they remodified the existing tank to make it that when you flush that, only 1.28 gallons are going down there. Remember that thing I showed you, how cool that was on the inside of that tank? Okay, so if you're interested in it, Again, it's a Highline model number K11499-0. You gotta get one of these.